now let's go and work on the eyes a little bit more so our eyes don't make the hole like this in the center right uh, it is actually slightly inwards inside in like uh, in this area and then on the outside it comes out like this we'll make it go deeper in here this area and then it actually goes really in inside i think this is where the you know those nerves and veins of the eyes i think it goes inside here okay our eyes is looking a lot better now uh, we will create this shape here uh, for this attachment um, mm -mm -mm, let's move, use the move brush now i'll push it a little bit inside a little bit like this our eyes is looking a little bit too round right so we gotta make it slightly square is looking mm, this we gotta push it out like this mm. Mm -hmm. I think it looks decent. So they build up. Let's build up the form a little bit here. Mm, let's remove it. Okay, I think it is starting to look a lot more better now. And our nose, I think we have to work on our nose a little bit more. So, like this. It's not super sharp like this, right? Ours is also slightly sharper. We have to increase this hole a little bit more. And now it is starting to look decent like this. And this part comes out and like this. As you can see in the reference here, it is peeking out a little bit from our nose like this slightly coming out of its shape mm. yeah i think we should push this inside maybe a little bit Our chin, I think it looks a little bit too sideways. You can see it is going a little bit too much on this direction. So we can just use our move brush and bring it out. Bring it out a little bit. Push this area sideways. Bring this slightly down. It is starting to look a lot better now. I think we should pull this one also. Mm -hmm. It is starting to look nice. Uh, let's move this area out for now. Mm. This CV will add a little bit of volume for that roundness of our teeth. Just a little bit, not too much. And now what we are going to do is, you can see here, uh, from this cheekbone, it curves down and creates the upper jaw. So this is our cheekbone, right? We are going to remove this shape. Uh, you can create a huge hole in here. You can, um, let's leave it to that much. And we push it a little bit. As you can see, I'm pushing the shape inside slightly for to maintain that plane change. And let's make it look like this. Okay, our upper jaw is starting to look a lot better now. So this is basically where our teeth sits, right? This is where our teeth usually sits. Mm -hmm. Now let's work on our lower jaw uh, let's bring out the reference what, what is it okay this i don't really know the names of it so 
I'm just going to call it this or that. The mandible here. Oh, yes, it is the mandible. Uh, the mandible here is a lot more uh, flatter. Wait, I will show it to you. But what happens is in this area, you can see the below this area, it is a little bit rougher. You can also see it in the reference. Uh, there must be other ones. Wait, where is it? As you can see here, this area looks slightly rough compared to this area because this is where the muscles attach. Basically, I think it attaches like this. Or it, is it like this? Mm, I forgot, but the muscles attach, attaches itself here. And that is how we are able to open our mouth and speak. And speak. So we are going to make it look slightly rough like this. Uh, let's use the damn standard brush. And you can see this sharp angle chain here. We are going to create it uh, from here. It goes like this. So this we don't need it. So we will just push it with the help of clay builder brush. Okay. And this is where the teeth sits. So we'll add a little, a little bit more volume for it, just to show. Okay, starting to look a little bit weird, but we can fix it. Let's remove it from this side. Okay, it is starting to look a lot better now, right? It is starting to look a lot better. And you can see. So what we are going to use is we have used the move brush. And we use the damn standard brush. And we use this clay builder brush. So now there is also another brush. Which I also use quite a bit. But I don't use it a lot. Uh, the brush is Edge Polish. Uh, it's B-H-P. As you can see Edge Polish brush. If you forgot the shortcut, you can just press B and you can see all of it. There are so many brushes, so you can get quite confused. So mostly we will use the move brush, the clay builder, the damp standard. If, if you have those three brushes, you can literally make anything. And so we are going to use uh, the edge polish brush. Wait, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Mm -hmm. This is the as polis this is not as polis but i think this is yes p at p this is the as polis one there are different polis process but oh here is it but i mainly use this one there is this one two but b at p i mainly use this one i really like this using this one so what it does is it just flattens it out as you can see i'll show it to you here you can see how nicely it has flattened it it just flattens the area really nicely that is what we are going to do here because we need this area to be slightly flat we will just push it with the help of uh, the as police brush you can see it is starting to look so much nicer and sharper now I think a little bit too sharp. Mm, let's remove it. We won't make it that sharp because uh, this is an organic sculpture, right? An organic sculpture doesn't really have that uh, sharp, or should I say, clean, like super, super, oh, what is it called? Super smooth type of areas. We don't really have it. Or any organic sculptures doesn't really have super plain type of uh, structure we can easily use this as polish brush you can see in let's say you want to create like a make type of character maybe you are making an armor we can easily use the as polish to cross it i mean to polish it out and making smooth and nice and sharp so we are going to use it very gently or it can it can remove this organic feeling very easily. 
we are going to add in a little bit of a volume here because we don't want it to be look look that industrial right we don't want it to look that smooth okay uh, i think this is coming out parts a little bit too much so we will push it down as you can see slightly pushing it down maybe we have to pull this on our side okay it looks a lot better now we pull this area slightly outward 